when you're happy with your recording of the section A chords, we are going to add a section B. So go to the plus sign at the end of your ruler, tap there and then tap add. Section B will appear as eight bars long. Tap the I and scroll that down to two. Okay, once you've done that, tap anywhere to exit and check that your ruler now starts at number three and it's number three and four. So we've left section A, which was numbers one and two, and we're now doing section B, which is three and four. Okay? So the notes for section B go F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C. So when I'm playing my G chord strip, I'm jumping down a space. So I'm playing in the space just above the gray shaded areas on the chord strip. So two Fs, two Cs, two Gs, two Cs. I'm going to try that along with the click. So I'm going to press play. So F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C, F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C. Okay, so when you've practiced that enough times and you feel confident, you can tap return to make sure that your arrow is back at the beginning. And then you're ready to record. So here's my recording. ruler has turned green. Remember if you want to re-record to tap return first so that your arrow's back at the start and have a go of recording section B. When you're happy with your section B recording let's add section C as well. So tap the plus sign at the end of the ruler, tap add. Section C will appear as eight bars so tap the I and just scroll that down to two bars as well. Okay, and when you exit the menu, double check that your ruler is number five and six. Okay. So our notes for section C are C, 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 Okay, I'll do that with the clicks. C, C, F, F, C, C, G, G, C, C, F, F, C, C, G, G. Okay, when you're ready to record, tap return and have a go. Here's mine. C, C, So when you're happy with your recordings of the chords for all three sections, we need to quantize our recording. And what that means is to move all the chords, if they're ever so slightly out of line with the beat, to move them exactly onto the beat. So to do that, we're going to select all sections. So if you go to the plus sign at the end of your ruler, tap there and then select all sections. You should see your ruler now going from one right through to six, and it should all be green because we've recorded all of those sections, okay? Then we're going to go up to the tracks view, the bricks in the top left-hand corner. And you can see all of the chords that we've recorded in these three different green sections. And all we're going to do is adjust them so that if they're slightly out of line with the beats on this ruler, they'll be moved exactly into place, okay? So we're going to tap on the track controls up here in the top left. It looks like volume sliders. And then we're going to select track settings up at the top there. And then quantization at the top again and then choose straight and because our bars are built up of four beats each we are dividing them into quarters so we're choosing quarter notes so that each of our chord stacks if you like will be exactly in line with the quarters of the bar okay 
So once you've selected those straight and quarter note, you can tap on track controls again to exit that menu. And there we have our chord track. We will add the piano bass notes in the next video. Well done.